we've got a Domino's takeaway for tea tonight. Let me show you what we got. Okay, so first of all, we have got some potato wedges. Got a barbecue dip in there. Then we've got some chicken wings. I love Domino's chicken wings. Better than the strippers and that. Love them. Garlic and herb big dip. Can somebody let me know how many calories that big dip is? Because I've heard differing reports depending on the location. And a lot of people tell me it's either 300 to 700 calories. Good Lord, I hope it's not 700 calories for that dip because Becky loves to coat everything that she eats in dip. And I have no problem with people that want to dip everything in whatever they want to. But the issue often arises, is, or do you actually enjoy the food or you do you enjoy the dip? Do you enjoy whatever you're coating the food into? Which is fine either way, but don't sit there and say, Oh my God, I love pizza. Oh my God, I love chicken wings. Oh my God, I love french fries. You don't actually love any of that stuff. If everything that you're eating is just being coated in ketchup or barbecue sauce or whatever that was, I guess that's ranch. Was that ranch? What, what did she say that was? I don't know. It, it honestly doesn't matter. The point I'm making is a lot of these people will just coat everything that they eat in whatever that is and then they'll go, Guys, I love it so much. You don't love it. You're just eating it because it tastes so good in your mouth based off these things. And by the way, this is all recent clips. Uh, Becky is currently trying to lose weight, but she says that she's not trying to lose weight via calorie deficit, which is interesting. I don't know exactly. Well, she didn't say that she's trying to lose weight. That's not, that's not exactly the words that she's using. She says that she's going to still, she's going to eat healthier without the goal of losing calories, which is very weird. I don't know why you would try to eat healthier if you're not trying to eat less calories. I guess maybe eating more food because the calories are less so you can have more room to fill up. I don't know, but I know that this entire meal, by the way, two boxes of pizza, uh, probably even if she ate half of them, you're looking at over 1500 calories for those two boxes, right? Just even if you ate like four slices a piece or three slices of pizza, the potatoes, the chicken and the sauces on the sides, dude, a woman of this size, okay, I don't know how tall she is, a lot of people tell me she's like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, or whatever, you shouldn't probably be eating anywhere around, you should be eating around 2,000 calories, usually a little bit less depending on how tall you are, Becky might be a little bit lower than that, but I wouldn't be surprised if Becky told you, or told me, that she was eating well over 3,000 calories a day, um, and if you're eating that daily, and you have one or two days where you're eating 2,000 calories, um, great, by the way, you're eating 2000 calories a day. It's amazing, but it's all about the consistency of it. You can't go five days eating three or 4,000 calories and then go one or two days only eating 2000 or maybe even 1700 calories, right? That's the problem is like the inconsistency of it. And then also you're going to be majorly discouraged by that because you're eating this stuff so incredibly frequently. And you're thinking you're doing to yourself a good service by taking two days instead of the full seven days, right? Where you eat trash. You're taking two days where you don't eat that trash and you're still going to gain weight. You're still going to look at that and go, I might as well just not even do this anymore, dude. I'm literally seeing zero benefit. Why would I continue this calorie deficit, which is not a calorie deficit, by the way. She's fully prepared to tell you that she's not trying to do a calorie deficit. Why would I continue to eat better if I'm not receiving any results, which is what most people do, by the way, a lot of people get discouraged because it's all about the diet and the consistency of the diet. And it's really tough, by the way, especially if like for your whole entire life, you've been eating like garbage. It's just like your norm. So you don't even realize that you're eating like garbage until you look at what, how other people are eating. And then you realize, oh, my God, wait, are you guys not going to eat five pieces of pizza? Are you guys not going to eat this entire box of uh, chicken wings? So it's just me. Right. And then you see that consistently, consistently, consistently. And then you go, wait a minute. Am I just weird? Yes, you are just weird. You're not supposed to eat that much. I am really cold tonight, guys. Then we've got some twisted cheese dough balls. I didn't even realize that there was a twisted cheese dough ball. I haven't eaten at the Minos in so long. And that's what we call it here where I'm from, the Minos. I, it's been so long. The last time I ate at Domino's, I got a meat lover's pizza. It was so sloppy that half of the pizza was slipped over on one side when the guy delivered it. This is way before Uber Eats. So I didn't have like the guy showing up with the pizza slice in his mouth or anything like that. It was an actual Domino's pizza delivery, dude. And I think I tipped him pretty well because like, back in the day, I think it was like two pizzas. I, I just gave him a 20. And this was back in the day when I think it was around 15 bucks, which, you know, $5 tip. That's really great. And I don't know if the guy felt bad after giving me this sloppy, slippy pizza that was like slipped over on one side and I gave him a $5 tip, I always wonder, like how much uh, how much should you tip a guy? How much should you tip depending on the thing? Because I know that people like to do it based off percentages, but if I do like a, a big order, right? 
am I just supposed to tip you like $30? Like, I'm not, what are you doing, dude? $30 for a tip is insane, bro. What am I paying your salary for the next day? <laughs> like, I'm okay, bro. I'm fine, dude. I'm not trying to tip that much, but it's always super weird because I don't know what is enough and what is not enough, depending on what you're doing. And you don't tip in certain realms, but you tip in other realms. Like, do you tip the cashier? Because let's be honest here for a second, there's only usually like one or two cashiers nowadays, right? I don't know if you guys have been to the grocery store recently. They never have more than two cashiers. And sometimes you'll be lucky if you see two. Um, and I'm not a big fan of self-checkout, depending on how much stuff I'm buying. I usually go in and try to buy as much as I can because I don't like shopping in general. So I try to minimize my shopping experience as much as I possibly can by shopping one big haul every single month, maybe two or three times if I have to. But usually I'm only doing one. So when I go up to that front register, I'm waiting because I know that if I go to that self-checkout, there's going to be multiple problems because the scanning machines are never accurate. And I have to ask somebody to keep coming over. It would be much more efficient if I just went up to the cashier and just did it that way, right? But there's always 50 million people in line and there's like two cashiers. And I always complain like, hey, dude, where's the other cashiers? And like, that's all we have today. Why do you guys not employ more people? Don't you guys literally have like a store policy right now where people are like running out of the store, literally like going to the self-checkout, pretending to scan, just walking out? That happens so frequently, by the way. And then you have to hire security guards. Like I, I go into these stop and shops and I see security guards at the door. And I'm like, oh, you 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 can hire the security guard, but you can't hire like two more employees for the for the cash registers, dude. I just don't understand it, dude. I, I get it. Self-checkout is easier. But I know you guys are literally being robbed daily, way more at an increased rate compared to what it would have been if a cashier was, I guess, maybe had a variance on their thing. By the way, a variance is more so like a... Uh, maybe you gave somebody extra change or maybe they misprinted the receipt or whatever. I had, I, I've done that a few times where I was, a, I was at a register and I gave somebody maybe an extra five by accident because my math was incorrect. But that doesn't happen very often with me because I'm like perfect on the math spectrum and stuff like that. Um, but that does happen. I don't know why we don't have more cashiers, bro. As well. The first pizza is a meat feast. Just really think about that really quickly. The first pizza is, that's insane, bro. Yeast, barbecue based, thin and crispy. Doesn't look good. I don't understand why people top their pizza so drastically with all this slop. I, I'm i thoroughly against big, giant toppings on pizza. Pepperoni, fine. Mushrooms, fine. Two toppings at most, right? Can we do two toppings at most? You, you stack more than two toppings. It's gonna, you're gonna start contaminating the pizza. The pizza's no longer gonna be a pizza. At that point, you're just eating like a buffet on bread. That looks amazing. Got some sauces in there as well. Got I it. will agree that the sauces on the side like that do look pretty cool. And then, you know it wouldn't be a Domino's order without my absolute favorite. Struggling to open the box. Barbecue ranch pizza. Look at that. I'm just gonna it doesn't take... actually look any different compared to the other one. I guess it doesn't have the onions or whatever that red stuff is on that one. Whatever, dude. I mean, Becky, you know, the, if this is the diet you want to go by, I guess, dude. Is that a Coca-Cola behind you? Picture of this. And... Oh, it is a Coca-Cola behind her. Well, what do you want? And we'll dish it out. <laughs> but what has everyone else got for tea tonight? So, first of all... Not even close, I'm Becky. To... This is more than what I'll eat in the entire, like, two days. I don't know why she's so comfortable. Like... Does she ever watch anybody's else, what, anybody else's what I eat in a day? Because I promise it's not anywhere close to this. Even like very, very obese people are trying to hide how much they actually eat in a day. So when Becky, does she just not acknowledge that there is a big difference in between like what she's eating and what everybody else is eating? That should come as a big surprise to her or like she should at least be acknowledging it. Top on some of the barbecue. And you know what? This is a really good example of why she should not have gotten that bariatric surgery because she literally said in that video that she was not going to change her diet in any way. And th if this is the diet that she wants to maintain, I have no problem with this. If she, well, I do have a problem with it. It's not healthy, but if she wants to live her life like that, go ahead, feel free. Hashtag live your best life. But if you're going to continue to eat like this, getting that surgery is only going to be a detriment because you're not going to be able to like maintain a diet of whatever that's going to entail if you have that bariatric sleep. Your your diet is going to be fundamentally changed on a different degree. So it's good that she didn't get that surgery. It seems like she was not even really thinking about it. Also, a lot of people have told me that it wasn't even going to be in the UK. Apparently that surgery was going to be in like a different country where they didn't even have to like monitor you or anything like that or see that you were ready to get the surgery because usually if you're going to get surgery like that you do have to show some incentive you have to show off that you're going to be able to maintain diet so they have to have that like at the very beginning like two or three months they see that you're willing to lose weight and you can lose weight and you're willing to commit to a diet whereas i don't think that they were going to do that somebody can correct me but 
from what I've seen and what people have told me, it was just like people hitting up and like, hey, you want some surgery? <laughs> we'll pay for it right now, actually. You will do it today, literally today. I don't know what to, to what degree that's real, but somebody can let me know down below. Ranch. Pizza is always a good choice for tea because- But it's not a good, okay. Fine to say that pizza is always a good choice for tea, but you eat this way too often And I think that sometimes we need to negate the best options and go for the options that are maybe better for you And literally have it the next day as well if you Yeah, want. that's also not a good thing either, bro If you're eating this day in day out like this, dude, I like, you know, I like leftovers too when it's like Thanksgiving uh, Pizza is leftovers. It's okay. I mean you obviously you know, I'm gonna body it But I feel like Becky is not looking at this from a logical perspective It's not healthy to continuously eat pizza like this But any leftover There's almost so nothing have... in here of nutrition. I guess it's like carbs and fat There's a little bit of protein based off the salami or whatever the hell she has on that pizza Sure, but then again, can you imagine somebody saying like I'm getting my protein from the toppings on a pizza? Oh my god, dude. What are you talking about? It's like that's like a guy going I get my heterosexual fix from sucking off a guy that just had sex with a girl Oh, no, I'm gonna have two pieces of that to start with then I don't like the red hot sauce. I'm not a fan of it some chicken wings. Couldn't you like call them up or like when you order it, couldn't you tell them what sauce you want? I could be wrong. I don't use delivery apps or anything like that. So I don't know how intuitive they are. Wedges, these ones are mine. Damn. So you just ordered the wedges just for yourself. How many How many slices of pizza did you put down on that? Like what, three slices? Three slices of pizza, somebody do the math on that. Three slices of pizza, an entire box of wedges. And I think that was what, two or three chicken wings or something like that i don't think she's done yet because mm. she's still got those cinnamon rolls or whatever those things were the cheesy rolls didn't get any dessert from there because i've got costco profit rolls not that i'm oh. thinking of dessert i thought that she was gonna say i didn't get dessert because i'm doing better and then she was like no i got something earlier for dessert so it's like it's okay that's great becky i'm glad you're thinking about dessert like that before you all start saying something but you just you just said that you got dessert earlier so Okay, whatever. Yes, you're making a better decision, but not really much of a better decision, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna have a couple of slices of the thin and crispy. A couple slices of that. So I think in total, there's four slices here. Am Eight, I wrong? Four, five, six. Pizza. Damn. Looks amazing. Look. <gasps> oh my God, Becky. So I guess three, maybe four slices. Am I am I not seeing a whole slice somewhere? Whatever, dude. Uh -huh. Whatever. Where are the where are the where are the cheesy rolls, man? You did get the cheesy rolls so too. Tasty. And I've got the big dip sauce. Of course, the big dip sauce. Somebody let me know how many calories that is too, bro. She's going to be dipping everything in the big dip sauce, which does sound like she's saying the big dick sauce. Can anybody hear that? Listen to that. Ready? Look at that. It looks so tasty. Mouth water. And I've got the big dip sauce as well. Sounds like she's saying the big dick sauce, but you got to listen real closely. There's a P in there. So let's dip some in now. This garlic and herb sauce is the best ever. Damn. Mm -hmm. Why do you... Why? Let's try this pizza. I don't really like the cheese, but... What do you mean you don't like the cheese? Why would you order pizza like this if you didn't like the cheese? I'm sure they make like vegan pizzas, right? Where you just do the sauces or whatever. Uh, why would you order pizza with cheese if you don't like the cheese? What is the purpose of saying you don't like it if I'm literally seeing you? I mean, I'm literally seeing you putting the cheese in your mouth. You can't tell me you don't like it while that shit's literally glazing your lips. Mm-mm. Okay. But my but let me all know what you've got. She didn't show off that she ate those, uh, those like cheesy rolls or whatever. I'm gi given the fact that she didn't show them off. I'm, I'm gonna guess that she did eat them. And enjoy your Saturday night. True. Love you all. Love you too, Becky. I bet you all thought I was really bullshitting, wasn't ya? When I said that I'll have leftover pizza. Well, just because people like to assume that I ate it all, I have four slices here, which. So four slices. I hope that some people in your family ate some pizza as well. I hope that wasn't just for you. I'd be surprised if you didn't have leftovers. How many people are in her house? Her, her mom, her dad. I don't know if uh, Portia or whoever else is in her house. I don't know, but I'm giving those three people just default. I hope that they had a, slice, uh, a couple slices or two. You did body slam the entire box of those wings. Sorry, the entire box of the fries by yourself. So, I mean, four slices, is that just for you? That's just for you? That's what you're going to be eating? Ah, I'm happy that you got leftovers, but now you're gonna be body slamming four slices, which is half a box of pizza just by yourself? Oh my god. I'm gonna have for my tea. Four? Oh, there's yeah. more. Why do you need more if you're eating four slices? 
and it's like stack slices too. Them things is literally covered in, <laughs> them things is covered in toppings. Some curly fries. So Why? Do you need curly fries too on top of the carbs that you're gonna be eating from the pizza? Let's get it all heated up. But the Domino's website is very helpful. It told me that you only have to warm the pizza up for three to four minutes in the air fryer. But maybe they should have told you just not to eat it in general. I bet each one of those slices is like 200 calories. Not not even right? Am I playing on that? It's like 200 calories per slice, probably in a low end. So two, four, six, eight, 800 calories just off that. And then you're gonna have fries. I wouldn't be surprised. This is well over 1,000, 1,100 calories. So we're gonna pop these in first and then put that in as well. I haven't had curly oh, fries. Damn, damn. Damn, Becky, that's a lot, bro. What is it, half the bag? Dude, you just kept getting that thing to pour, dude. That's like a serving for two or three people right there, dude. Calm down. Who else eating this? Just you and your mouth? Yes. There we go. It's a lot. That will do, and then I'll pop the pizza in next. Okay, it's all done now, so I'm going to pop the pizza on. This can't be, bro. You got to feel like absolute dog water at the end of this. No way you're feeling good after eating all this salt and all this carbs, right? Because, like, I'm not, I'm totally fine with eating carbs. I'm totally fine glazing my lips with carbohydrates. I have no issue with those things. The problem is, like, is that all you're eating? There's no protein in this at all. I guess the meat on the topping. Sure, yes, there is meat on the topping. I'll give her that. Like I said earlier, dude, why are we making toppings on a pizza our protein source for the day? That's crazy as hell. There are, is, is there nothing else that you can eat, dude? What happened to those, like, protein bars that you were eating? I guess that would be better. No, it wouldn't. Those things was, like, what, the grenade bars? Those were, like, 370 calories for, like, 20 grams of protein. I don't know. I, you know what, dude? It's literally, like, I don't even know what we're doing right now. It's, like, choosing between. It's, like... It's like being in a pool, okay? Like one of those, like over, like those in-ground pools at like a YMCA and the pool is just covered in piss. It's just piss, okay? And some guy has a bucket and he's about to toss it at you. Your, your head's above the piss and you have two options, okay? The bucket is nothing but shit. The, the, the bucket is being thrown at you, you have an option. You can either dunk your head under the water, embrace the piss or just take on the shit. Either way, it's not a good decision, and that's basically what Becky is doing to herself. I mean, there would be better decisions in the sense of, like, she didn't have to eat like this, but it seems like she's adamant that this is the life choices that she wants to make. So I had four, well, I've got four slices of this, should I say. Which is already a lot. Four slices of some big-ass pizza. One. Two. I do prefer eating it cold, but I just want to get a little bit crispier today. Okay. Yeah, stack the pizza like that is crazy. I guess it doesn't matter, honestly. Four. I mean, if you're going to eat four slices of pizza, it's really all about quantity and not quality. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's a little greasy on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Four nice slices of that. And then I'm only going to... I mean, if your whole entire life is is just defined by the grease, you might as well just embrace it. Curly fries. Just dump it out, dude. What are you even doing, nice man? Hold down, the, hold down the rack with the thing and just pour it on there, dude. Why not, bro? You know, we all know you're going to be body slamming that. <laughs> I haven't had them for so long. I love when she says she hasn't had them because it's almost kind of like she's pre-qualifying why she's having them, right? That's the reason. It's, oh yeah, I haven't had... I haven't had these in so long, which is her basically saying because I haven't had these in so long, it's basically her saying like, I deserve to have these because it's been so long, which is for her, it's like, I guess a month maybe. But she eats fries like every single day, so. I've also got my garlic and herb dip. Good Lord, Becky. Good lord. That's a lot on a plate. You do understand that's a lot? I'm going to go and talk in now. But yeah, for anyone saying that I ate all the pizza last night, I didn't. I it's not, okay, it's, okay, I'm going to keep it a buck. It's good that you didn't eat all the pizza. The fact that you even had to justify that, the fact that you even have to bring that up is crazy, by the way. The fact that you have to be like, guys, I know a lot of people think I ate all the pizza. I didn't. I saved four slices. That was two boxes. That was two boxes. If my math is correct, right, each box is eight slices, right? I believe that's how they cut them up here in America. They cut them up in eight individual slices, right, out of the pie. So that means if I hope, man, I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I think I saw her eat three to four slices yesterday. And then that means that she saved four up the side. That means her family had to, if at bare minimum, they had to share one one pizza and Becky body slammed a box at bare minimum. That is 
only given if she shared that pizza, okay? So if she didn't share the pizza, that would mean that she ate not only the, the, the eight slices here, but that means that she also body slammed another entire box. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and hope that that separate box that she also took from was also for her family. I hope that somebody in her family got a, a couple slices or maybe even ate half the box with that. I'm hoping, but... I don't know, given how Becky is, dude, and the fact that she said, like, people thought I ate all the boxes, I didn't, you're not even touching on the fact, you could have easily said, I didn't eat all the pizza, like, my family had some, so none of that was even said here, she literally said, I didn't eat all the pizza, which gives me the idea that she did actually eat that other box of pizza, and she just saved four, which is, yes, I hope so, if you're eating two boxes of pizza, and you tell me that there is, there's leftovers, I hope two boxes of pizza for anybody is insane. And then to sit there and be like, I save some for later. I hope so. I and The fact that you only had four slices left. I mean, great, Becky. We're making progress. We're making progress. But I got to keep it a buck. It's not much progress, dude. You literally saved four slices for the next day. And you ate you ate something on the side, too. The pizza should be sufficient alone. I mean, if we're being honest, the, the, the four slices that you add are probably 800 calories on themselves. I'm not proud. Maybe even more. I've got it tonight. It's just people are just so invested in thinking that you eat everything all at once when you don't. But yeah, that's my tea. I don't think that people think that you eat everything all at once. I feel like Becky is fighting the wrong battles here, dude. You you don't need to. The fact that people think that is really really insane, and then also the fact that you're trying to justify it is also really really crazy, dude. I'm not even, you know what, Becky, do you, it's your, live your best life, Them, the, you know, if you want to eat like this, dude, go ahead, I just wish that you would own it, I just wish you would be like, you know what, a lot of people think that I eat a lot of pizza, I do, I body slam pizzas all the time, it's my favorite, I love it in my mouth, I'm gonna eat whatever I want, if she just said that, I'd be like, ah, yeah, no problem, go ahead, eat what you want to eat, but just don't sit there and try to, like, give out this facade of, I don't eat that much, or I'm saving some for later, and by the way, saving some for later is literally four slices out of 16 i'm happy you know i'm happy you didn't eat the full 16 and you only ate the 12. See you tonight and i'm loving it so have a great sunday evening everyone do not let hatred ruin your mind love you all love you too becky thanks Bye. hi everyone so just ordered a takeaway to the pod um turkish as well so i'm so buzzing and um, just got my udi what is up with these pods over there in the uk dude Oh, I see a lot of people. I've been seeing Corey's World. I've been seeing that other girl with all that plastic surgery. I've been seeing a lot of them doing the the pods or whatever. And I found out that recently they're 175 or 180 pounds per night. And uh, that's a lot of money, huh? That's a lot of money to just stay at a pod or like a place where you're just basically watching Netflix. And I guess there's a jacuzzi. I guess there's a jacuzzi that you can lay into. That's cool, I guess. I mean, I don't really like laying in puddles of water to be honest because i'm always scared that the water is going to go into my urethra and i'm going to like impregnate myself or something like that or my butthole is going to be contaminated with stuff like that i'm not really down for that i get it's like a weird phobia of mine i don't like anything being next to those areas so i'm not ever going to even consider something like this but 180 175 dollars for just staying in a random wooden house with a jacuzzi that you're just going to watch netflix at it just doesn't sound right to me dude i don't know i also want to know how many other people have stayed at this establishment that have busted nuts all over the place, right? I know it's had to happen, right? I mean, that would be like the primary reason why anybody would go to these places. It's like, oh, we're going to do a nice little getaway. It's going to be crazy. I brought condoms, right? There's that. That's what I would think. But I guess Becky's just chilling out one by herself. So, I mean, more power to her. Do whatever, do whatever you want, but. Dion got out the hot tub, but going back in it later with the log fire, going to do chocolate barbecue. Chocolate barbecue. I've never heard of that. Somebody let me know what is chocolate barbecue. Nice to get away. Is that like weird s'mores? Like you, you're cooking, like you wanted to do s'mores, but you didn't have the appropriate ingredients, but you had chicken wings instead. What is that? What is chocolate barbecue? Like, is the barbecue sauce just the chocolate? Uh, just the night. But yeah, so I'll show you my takeaway when it comes. Yeah, I never understood people just going to random establishments and, like, spending the night there. I know people in my own life that have done that. Except not, like, in these uh, pods or whatever they call these things. I've, I've known people that go, yo, bro, we pulling up, me, Yeah, we pulling up to the hotel, dog. You trying to come through? And I always think, like, nah, I'm good, dude. What are you guys even going to do there? Yeah, man, we going to drink, we going to smoke, we going to party. And I was thinking, like, how much are you spending on this hotel? Yeah, man, it's not that much. It's like 100 bills, dog. 
And then it, it's that's all they do. It's like you're just in the hotel. They're just laying on the bed, smoking, drinking, and I guess watching whatever's on the terrible television because it's not like you can pick. Uh, most of the time, they don't even have Netflix on there, and I would never log in on my Netflix account on some random buddy, some random TV somewhere in a hotel. And I'm just always thinking, like, why are you even here? You know, like, we're going to have a hard time. It's going to be party. And don't you, like, live? Don't you spend, like, $2,000 on an apartment every month? Like, why don't you just do it there? Wouldn't that be the more efficient thing to do instead of, like, spending 100 or more money on a random hotel to just chill there? And this is, like, a solid sausage fest. I've never – the amount of times that I've been invited over to a place like that, it's all men. I always think that I'm about to, like – it's about to be some gay shit going on. You know? Like, wait, dude. Two dudes in a room, people are already think it's suspect, right? Two dudes in a room together alone, most people are thinking you're gay. Three dudes, four dudes, bro? That's crazy. Somebody's taking something. That's all I know about. And you know what, dude? You guys are getting drunk too, so you know there's going to be a lot of excuses flying around. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, so it is all here now. Becky got to calm down. I think that she real deal got to calm down, dude. There's way too much going on at this table, this counter right now, dude. I see a soda. Is that a Pepsi? Damn, you got Pepsi in the UK? I've never seen somebody in the UK drink Pepsi. Let's dish it out. There's a corn on the cob in there. That's irrelevant. Then we've got chicken tikka kebab with some onions and garlic mayo in a naan. It looks kind of gross. It looks really burnt. I thought it was wet for a second, but I think that's just like just crustated. Am I wrong? No rhyme or reason, dude. I feel like if I took a bite out of this, you're going to get nothing but onion on one or two bites, maybe even more. There's so many onions, and I'm a big fan of onions, but I just want them to be evenly dispersed instead of just having a big pile of them right in the middle. Can we just throw some over here, some over there? Just spread them out a little bit, dude. You're really going to, you're going to take a bite, and your eyes are going to be watering instantly. How good does that look? No, then it's we've all got right. A Again with these onions, dude. Like, dude... I get it. Like, maybe I'm supposed to be the person that has to distribute it. But how much did you spend on this? Like, they couldn't be bothered to take the onions and go like this a little bit. Like, why do I have to touch my food like this, man? Greek salad. But this is from a Turkish place. But this doesn't actually look Greek. I don't ever put halloumi in. But it still looks amazing. Got chips there. Damn. Then there is the garlic. <sighs> why do you need this much, Becky? Good lord. This is a lot. Do you understand what serving sizes are? Dude, the halloumi thing or whatever that was, the gyro thing that you was eating, that's, that should be sufficient. Instead, you got a, a sauceless pizza too? God, It's a red Lord. as well. How good does that look? So, yeah, can't even dish out because got no plates, but we got some. You going to eat it straight off the platter like that, dude? GG on that. You What is this? Wooden cutlery. So, I'm going to tuck in now. Let's tuck in. Yeah, why didn't you just do this at the crib, bro? I, I don't understand. You're literally out here. You have no utensils. You're eating wooden stuff, and you don't have plates. And then, okay, whatever, bro. Right. Gonna try some garlic bread? It's just mm. pizza without mm. cheese. Sorry, pizza without sauce. Mm -mm. Whatever. Oh, guys, I'm praying this chicken tikka is nice. What do you mean you're praying that it's nice? Why would you ever... If you're ordering from an establishment and you're spending significant money on this, I know she is, bro, 100%. She gotta be spending like 50 bills on this easily. Why would you question whether or not it's good? That's crazy to me, dude. If I'm ordering from an establishment, I know it's good, right? Am I wrong? Okay. It's, it looks, oh, that's just dry as fuck. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, that's just dry, dude. That's just real dry, dude. Open your mouth, you're gonna have tumbleweeds flying out. Mm. It's so good. Some holy me. I have no idea what that is. It just looks like pancakes that they cut up. Mm. But yeah, guys, gonna eat this, do the chocolate barbecue, and get in that hot tub again. Cool. Cool, Becky. Mm -mm -mm. Love you. It seems like a weird, seems like a weird thing to just chill here by yourself. Uh, where is this exactly? Is this like randomly out in the woods? Do you have woods in the UK? Somebody let me know. I would not feel comfortable chilling in the woods or wherever this is in a pod watching Netflix, eating takeout, dude. Uh, I guess like it's cool that you have a hot tub, but then again, I would not want to be in a hot tub. For me personally, maybe you okay with being in a hot tub. Especially a hot tub that you don't even know about, dude. Just a random hot tub. I don't know about that, dude. I feel like you're going to wake up with three U UTIs the next morning, dude. I, I feel like I would have a yeast infection if I was in that. I don't fuck with it. I, 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 don't, I don't like it at all, dude. Somebody let me know if, I, if I'm being weird about it. It sounds like the plot of a horror movie. Like, oh, no, babe, like, it's our anniversary. And, like, we, 
babe, like, it's our anniversary, and, like, I thought it was a great idea to, like, go and try this pod thing, and, oh my god, I didn't know there was a murderer, I didn't know there was a murderer that was gonna come through and try to kill us at the pod that three people have already died at, I don't know, okay, I'm just saying, it sounds pretty suspect. Hi, everyone. Okay, calorie counting. This won't be on every video as I am not in a calorie deficit. I'm just doing it in every now and then again. I just don't want to be controlled by calories. But in the future, I may want to follow this for every day. Okay, I don't even know what the point of even putting this out. All I heard was, I'm doing this now, but I'm not, I don't also don't like doing this. Don't think this is something I'm going to do all the time, but I may do this all the time if I feel like I want to do this all the time. Okay, all right, Becky, fine, I guess. Go ahead and do you, live your best life. Why do you, wh wh what is even the point of this, dude? Wh wh why'd you have to put out like a, <laughs> be warned, like this is not happening all the time. I will not be counting calories in every video, but if I do, then don't judge me here. Cool, Becky. Let's see how many calories you eat today. Welcome. Probably gonna be wrong. Uh, one of the main main reasons why I feel like many people don't put the calorie counting, it's a lot of work, especially if you're eating things that have no calorie counts on them because you're making it yourself, so it might be difficult to actually estimate the amount of calories you're eating. It's my what I eat in a day. Now I have put a trigger warning on this what I eat in a day because I have calories. Two slices of banana, loaf approximately 360, 360 calories for two of that. Just for the breakfast is kind of crazy. I feel like I could body both of those and still feel hungry. Where the protein at, dude? Get the two eggs in there. Two eggs, how many calories is that? 90, 90? That's like 180, dude. You could put some toast on the side. That'd be way better than this. But GG, go ahead. Calorie count today. Now, I know people think that I can't. Oh, it's way smaller than I thought, dude. Okay. Now, I thought it was way bigger, dude. Because usually the plates are, per size, the plates are usually three times bigger than the actual plate. So I thought it was way bigger, but it's actually not. I miss what I eat in a day because I have calories. Hello, count. Autumn, dude. Oh, man, the gayest cups I've ever seen in my life, bro. I've been using the same cup for... <laughs> I've been using the same cup for years, bro. Same thing with, like, my clothes, too, bro. So people have called me out recently. They go, dude, how come you only have five hats? I think in total I have I have the flat one. I have this one. I have the one with the socks. I have the one that says B on it. And then I have, uh, I think, two more, but probably, yeah, like five in total. I don't like shopping for clothes and stuff like that. So whenever I go anywhere and I see hats, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll buy that. And I'm always depressed because I'm like, nah, I don't want to spend money on that. So like if they work, I'm not going to buy anything more than that. I'm really minimalistic when it comes to my clothing items. I just ripped like two pairs of my pants recently uh, because my butt cheeks are so incredibly ginormous that like I couldn't help it. Like I just like put my jeans on. It just like ripped instantly. Like my butt cheeks are so incredibly domesticated that they're just unleashing the true inner power of my voluptuousness. So it's not my fault. Sorry. I'm just hashtag thick at AF. But uh, no, I ripped them in the jeans. Sorry. I ripped them in the kneecap. And uh, I don't want to buy more. I just, I just don't. So I'm just going to wear them, I guess. I don't know. Like, I guess when winter comes, I'll buy more. But usually in the wintertime, I'm usually just wearing sweatpants anyway. Like every other dude. Today. Now, I know people think that I contradict myself when I say I'm not calorie counting. I just mean I'm not calorie counting all the time. I'm just going to do it on my page every now and again. So I have put the calories, which I've mentioned on every bit of food I've had for this day. I've also put an approximately... Man, that, that cup is way bigger. Dude, sometimes, like, it's just so weird to see. I, I, when you see it next to Becky, that should be the actual idea of it. Like, you know when you look at Shaq, you're like, oh, that's a pretty big guy. But then you see him next to a regular guy, and you're like, holy shit, this guy is way bigger than you thought. Same thing here. These these serving sizes, these, these dishes, and the food that she eats, you don't know how big it is until you see it next to her. And then you're like... <gasps> hey. And not for Dude, why does she always cringe whenever she eats something? I I, I just don't understand. Like, okay, at first I thought it was because she had really sensitive teeth, but I now that now I think she just does it all the time, regardless of that, because bread is very easy to eat, right? Like it could be that I've hard. For this and guy. then the 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 drink, what are you cringing over that? It's just tea, right? I've also put an approximately. Why? Why are you doing that? Why? And not for certain. Giant flaming hot. Watsies, Watsits, small servings, approximately three. How many did you eat though? How many did you eat? And a Pepsi Max, Cherry? Why do you need two different snacks though? Just because I know what people are like saying, oh, well, you had a bigger portion of this or you had a bigger portion of that. But what I tried to have was the calories that came up. So if it's wrong, I do a. Oh, five Ritz crackers, 80 calories. Apologize, but. Five of them too for 80 is actually. Crazy, actually. Damn, only five.
damn, five for 80? Damn. This is what I got it to. And like I said, these aren't going to be all the time. It's just going to be every now and again, I think, oh, I'll do a calorie count. Uh, 129. This is why I think, like, if you're going to snack, dude, you should probably do it after you eat your food, like your meal, because it's so easy to just body slam. 129 calories is a lot of fucking calories for the amount of food that you can actually get out that. I get it. I like chocolate, too. But you got to take some... You, you got to actually look at the foods that you're eating. I, maybe for Becky, this is, a, uh, for, this is a height. But for most people, 129 calories is... A pretty big portion of actual meal. If you're if you're looking at like a 400 to eight, 400 to 600 calorie meal, that's literally like what a fifth of that or like a fourth of that. And on this video, and I know a dude, lot why she always cringe like that, dude. I'm, it, it annoys me, bro. A lot of people say that a deficit is good, and in time, you know, maybe I will change. Okay, I was actually pretty right about this, dude. Okay, four slices of pizza. Uh, I, I said this is 800 calories. It's actually more, so 880. She probably a little bit off by that. I don't know, but we'll just say 100 calories. Uh, Morris fries. So, yeah, I mean, that makes about sense. 200 calories for that. You might as well round it up. She probably gave about 1,100 calories off that, which is crazy, by the way. 11, maybe even 1,200 calories if you're counting that sauce in there. Damn, if this little tiny ass sauce is 170 calories, dude, that big ass one had to have been like 700, right? Am I wrong in saying that, dude? Damn, man. The sauce alone is crazy, bro. Damn, hold up. The sauce alone is like a slice. Holy good lord. That's actually crazy, dude. Whew. Change my mind and go to that. But at the minute, I just don't like being controlled by calories. Then why are you even adding them up? This has got to be really concerning for you then if you just saw that you ate 1,200 calories of just nothing, right? And that isn't an excuse just to overeat and gorge on all different things. It's it's not an excuse, but it's also an excuse, right? Like you don't want to you don't want to look at the actual number because you know the number actually means something. Usually, when people see the number or when you write something down, it's more impactful than just living your life passively. But I've always said it. I love my treats. I love my food. But we all do. Everybody does, dude. There are very few people on the planet that don't like to eat treats or sweets or snacks or whatever. The, but the, the the difference is like you have to use you have to eat those things within a tolerance. Like you can't just always eat that stuff, right? You you have to actually have some consistency in the diet. It's okay to eat this stuff. Like there is a there is a place for this stuff in the diet. I know a lot of people will say, no, cut it out completely. I do think that on certain things like sodas probably shouldn't be incorporated in the diet, uh, especially the full fat ones. Those things are literally destroying diets. I mean, you're I know some people that are drinking two, three, four, five cans a day. And each one of those cans is like 140, right? 140, 120, 140. And they're drinking them all the time, bro. And they use them as like supplementation for water. And uh, it's tough, bro, because if you're drinking away your calories, you don't realize how many calories that is. You probably drank away like a good 800 calories that day and you're wondering why you gained weight. It's because you're literally drinking away like 800 calories worth of drink, bro. When you could have had that number been close more to 60 calories if you added some water uh, with some flavoring in that. Well, this just helps me as well keep track damn so chew your mouth first dude put the food in your mouth and then chew dude the end calories for that day was 2000 2142 calories and all things considered she really didn't eat that much uh she just had the banana bread and a pizza that's it like in terms of food product everything else was just snacks so and by the way the pizza was literally over half of this so uh yep that's not good becky that's not good at all because it's not sustainable. You're not eating a lot of food. And I know when somebody is as big as this, you should be really prioritizing the uh, the severe amount of, like you should be prioritizing the quantity, right? You should be getting as much food as you possibly can for as low calories as possible. Pizza, curly fries, the banana loaf bread, which is not the worst in and of itself. The snacks though, whoo, them snacks is really body slamming your day. You, the snacks is really body washing your whole day worth of calories, bro. I mean, literally alone, the, the, the Ritz, the candy bar, and the other, the, the whatever they call those, the Whatsos or whatever, the Whatsas, uh, those alone was taking up like a fourth of your day or even a third of your diet, dude. You got to chill back on that. And if you are going to eat them, Slow it down a little bit. 1,142. Which is a lot, by the way. For somebody like Becky, I wouldn't be surprised if she needed to eat like 1,700 calories a day. I wouldn't. Be, if she told me that her where she should actually be eating for a woman of her size, I wouldn't be surprised if he told me it was like 1,700 calories. And a lot of people don't realize that. Like women, 
um, traditionally don't need to eat as much as men because men are usually a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, a little bit have more room, right? More muscle mass. They're usually taller. So men can usually eat more calories. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are plenty of women out there that can eat more calories than men. But usually, you know, generally speaking here, men can usually eat a little bit more. I've met plenty of women that are like 5'5 five, five or 5'4 five, that can only eat like 1,500 calories a day, and they're really shunned by that. Like, why, what? Why do I need to eat? I've been eating like 2,000 every single day because I thought the 2,000. Sometimes it's not for you, and it sucks a lot of dick, but you can eat a lot of, you can eat a lot of food in 1,500 calories. But uh, not if you're eating like this, though. It's going to be very difficult. Approximately. So if you've come from Corey's video. The tanner, man. They got to chill back. People in the UK got to chill back on a tanner. Is it really just because you guys don't get a lot of sun, so you have to, like, emulate it in another way to make it seem like you do get a lot of sun? But don't people just call you out on that? Like, if you show up to the pub and you're just, like, super brown and somebody goes, Oi! Oi, what the fuck, man? I know that you didn't. I know that you, the sun didn't come. It's been four months. It's been four months since the sun came out. Where the hell? Where'd you go, man? You got to roam with something, right? I know that it's got... Is it not, like, a conversation that you guys have in, like, the bars or the pubs or whatever you call them? Or, like, a Scottish guy comes in? Hey, hey, I'm from Scotland, by the way. What, what, why do you look so weird, mate? You look so weird. I don't know. I can't do a Scottish accent. It always goes out to, like, being Australian. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, d does anybody ask you, like, hey, how the fuck did you get this tan when the sun has literally been absent from our country in for four years? Like, how did you get that tan? And by the way, why is it dripping off your face? You are all correct. So if you guys don't know, she's going on a cruise. Which, I, again, I have no idea why people go on cruises, dude. They're so exp Like, maybe it's just me. I don't know, dude. I just When somebody says they're going on a cruise, I'm always thinking, like, why? Like, what are you even doing? Like, you're just going on, like, it's just a boat that just takes you nowhere and then you drive back? Okay, I guess. Uh, seems cool, bro. I mean, what are you looking at on the cruise? Water? That's water, huh? That, I mean, no, no, no. If you like looking at oceans and stuff like that, that's cool it's just water a lot of water do you get to see the stuff in the water probably not but cool i mean maybe you're looking at the shore sometimes i don't know bro <laughs> it's me i am so excited so booked the cruise i honestly cannot wait it's gonna be so amazing Cannot wait to meet Corey, Lee, Charlie Ann. It's just going to be. I bet that the chemistry ain't going to match up, dude. How much you want to bet when she gets on that boat, the chemistry is going to be real awkward? How much you want to bet? Usually when you have to be around people forcefully because you are trying, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to fit together because it's like, oh, we're supposed to be friends. We're so cool, uh, you know, in, in, in on online. So it's got to be better in real life. Nah. Nah, it don't work like that, dude. I'm actually praying for that that chemistry to be bad, dude. That would be amazing, bro. The best time. So it's happening in September. We'll post more details and stuff soon. A cruise in September, dude? I guess. All right, it's still like gonna be hot, right? Next but month. I am just so excited. I love how you all knew. Did they tan your eyebrows too? Why are your eyebrows looking a little bit brown, man? It was me from Corey's Clues. They were good clues, actually. Really good. But yeah, um, I'm I love when Becky wears necklaces. It's like one of two things, right? It's like she's either wearing a cross, okay? But then she also wears the the necklace from Harry Potter with the three Deathly Hallows, right? So like the, the Death's Finger or the Magical Wand, which by the way, the lore on that Magical Wand is really fucking cool. What's that Magical Wand called? Like the Master's Wand or something like that? I don't, I don't fucking know, but it's like a really strong wand or something like that. And then the, uh, the cape that Harry Potter wore. And then there's one more Deathly Hallow. What am I thinking of, dude? What is the other Deathly Hallow? There's three of them. There's the wand, the cape, and there's something else. I always get the last one mixed up. Oh, no, the Horcrux? I don't know. Hold up. They were good clues. But it's like such a dynamic, dude. Can you imagine like, oh yeah, I'm Christian on this day, but I'm also a Harry Potter fan. Actually, really good. But yeah, um, I'm so excited to just share it with all of you because I feel like I haven't really done like travel videos on my page. So it's going to be exciting. What do people even do on cruises, right? Just buffets, right? Am I wrong? You just do buffets. And I guess you swim in the pools on the top of the thing or... What do you do, bro? I, all the time when I've heard somebody go on saying they're going to go on cruise, it's always like, oh my god, the buffet is going to be so amazing. Or drinking, I guess. But I don't think Becky really drinks that much, right? I, I know Corey does. Hell yeah, bro. I know Corey drinks a lot, man. Every one of his videos literally starts off with, oh my god, guys, I've done it again. 
I've drunk more alcohol and I keep doing it over and over and over again. It's like a daily thing for him to just drink so much alcohol that the next day he feels like garbage and then he remedies it by eating the greasiest, most deplorable food you could possibly find and then drinking again and then doing it the next day just continuously. So I guess this is going to be like an Ouroboros for him. But what is Becky going to do? I guess just eat? I don't know. What do you do? I, dude, it sounds like a bad way to like, if you really try to lose weight, going on a cruise, bro? That's going to be real crazy. Like getting ready for the cruise, which I've got a few videos coming up that I'm going to do. What do you do to get ready for a cruise? Don't you just pack like clothes and stuff? What do you do? I don't like what, like wear like floaties just in case? I don't, I don't know. So, obviously on the cruise and it's just going to be so much fun to show you like traveling with me, how I travel. I'm not even like, I'm not a nervous like passenger on a plane or passenger you know what i mean i'm not a nervous traveler on a plane i've never been on a cruise but i know i'm gonna love it because you know how much i love water so but you don't go into the water do you like when you're on a cruise i guess like looking at it like maybe you love looking at it but then you could just go on google and just type in water or just like i don't know dude like go on your phone and or like do you have a tv in your house a smart tv right everybody's got a smart tv just type in go on the google and then just type in water and sounds white noise and then just have that in your background if you really like water i mean i guess there's like an authenticness to it where you get to see the water but like it's not like you're gonna go into it right it's not like the cruise and be like oh yeah go into the water the Atlantic ocean i'd be really concerned if that was the case bro so no i don't know bro that sounds weird to me dude like going on i'm okay i could be wrong but if somebody said they love they want to go on a cruise because they love water i i, I would kind of like turn my head a little bit like what really that's like somebody going to a buffet because they love plates. Oh, yes. Excited. Hi, everyone. So yeah, she always wears this necklace, dude. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. It's either this necklace or that cross ne necklace. Dude, always when she starts her videos, it looks like she's wearing some type of mask. Am I wrong? Like one of those masks from Mission Impossible. Yeah, I went to the Bolton Food and Drink Festival. If I'm going to a place that's serving food and I see bees, I'm probably not going to eat that food. Oh, Finally, buddy made it there after all the awful weather. Anyway, we started off by getting a bubble tea. Well, Paige got a bubble tea. Then we tried these coconut macaroons. Are they called? That looks gross, by the way. Yeah, that does not look edible. That looks like something you would find in India, like from street foods. And then my favorite pani puri from the Chatwallers. It was decorated so nice, though, this year. All these lovely flower displays. But I do honestly love oh, coming here. It's a peach such anodon. a vibe. Great for families. Great for anyone. And the food is honestly amazing. But to be fair. Just another excuse to eat. And you know, if you want to eat and that's fine, dude. I just wish you're doing it at your house, dude. There's too many opportunities to eat terrible, disgusting foods in, you know, out in public at these festivals or whatever. But, you know, she's living her best life. So I'm not going to, like, call her out on it. I'm totally honest. I literally had chatwallers. And then what are these things? They look like just potato skins that have stuff in them. I guess it's some kind of like pastry or whatever, dude. I feel like these suck to eat. Am I wrong? Why do they look like this? I went to, I think it's Poland. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. I would, I would, okay. I would probably eat it if I saw somebody else eating it. And then I would get confidence off that. But I wouldn't eat it in of myself. Like if this was something that was being served there, I would be very, very, I'd be overly contempt to not eat it. Polish sausage. Polish sausage. Who invited Lady Gaga? Oh, let me stop. Sausage and potatoes. I oh, had this as well. Oh, Wakanda forever. And it was honestly so delicious. I think I had it last year. Oh, man, the donuts, bro. Sheesh, bro. The donuts ain't going to be doing her right. Damn. How much is this? Three fifty for one? Whew, I hope they're good. Obsessed with it. Paige got a custard donut. And can we just appreciate how amazing the oh, donuts look? This really <laughs> is looks like some like Indian street food shit. But here is the Polish sausage and potatoes. Correct me what it's actually called. They're actually using gloves, though. I'll give them that. I mean, but then again, I don't know what I expected. Over there in India, they don't use gloves. I literally saw a dude just, like, grabbing shit or, like, putting food underneath his armpit and then, like, throwing it onto the plate. So, I, you know, anything's better than that, I suppose. Had, like, a garlic sour cream sauce on top. And I did loads of steps as well. Great. But I honestly loved it again this year and finished off watching an amazing singer. 
Hope you've all had a great bank holiday weekend. Good for Becky, bro. I'm gonna be really interested in seeing what that vacation looks like, bro. And her and Corey and his girlfriend and the other girl go on vacation. That's gonna be great, dude. We're gonna keep up with that, 100% can't wait to see what that looks like dude it's probably just gonna be a whole bunch of eating right it's just gonna be copious amounts of food in becky's mouth and Corey's mouth and all this other stuff but it's gonna be good content uh but anyway guys we're gonna end the video here uh if you enjoyed today's video i appreciate everybody leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in toothbrush because those things are essential for the cleanliness and the bacteria control of your mouth and it's really really appropriate to have good oral hygiene to ensure that your breath smells adequate and not like doritos or like frito dust or whatever like because i know a lot of people eat that stuff nowadays i don't i'm better than everybody so um yes i'd appreciate if you could leave that down below or if there's like a toothbrush emoji you could put that down there too i also want to compliment you on your daily hygiene when it comes to the mouth washing it's good it's really good it's really optimal i like when you brush one side of your mouth a little bit better than the other side because you can't adequately get on that side so it's like really difficult for you to get that right side as as well as you can on the left so i get that it's going to be a little bit harder but i appreciate that you always try your hardest to a, to get that right side down pack and your teeth are looking delicious they're looking great they're looking amazing i really do think that you have some of the best oral hygiene on the planet and i just want to give you that quick compliment because if I didn't, I would be doing myself a disservice because every time I look at your teeth, I always get a little bit flabbergasted with the amount of absolute beauty they emanate, the sparkling palette of them. What kind of what kind of toothpaste do you use? Colgate? Colgate? Not Col no, what, what do you use? Oh, like the black one, the, the charcoal? What, what, what do you use? Let me know down below. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.